In this video, we'll talk about how to bring OpenVSP3 files into your model that you're working with. Now, this is really easy to do, but there are some nuances to this process that demonstrate some of the things going on under the hood that I want to demonstrate because you may not think of it now, but this will help you out a lot later on. So let's say that we want to bring in an existing VSP3 file and make it a child of the wing component. So we go to File and Insert. And let's pick one of these uh, propellers, so this test prop here. So what it did is it made that propeller a child of the wing component because that one isn't attached to anything. It's just a free-floating propeller um, from the model itself. It placed it right at the origin, and we can set up attachment or, or however we like. Now, something I want to demonstrate here is that under the design tab for this propeller, the diameter is linked and shown active in green. And so if we click on that, you can see that this is attached to the rake in the P-curve, which is here. You can see it's in red. So there was a link in this model that was imported along with it. OpenVSP saw that those connections were there, and so it added it to the model. Now, it does this and also avoids any type of parameter conflicts to where one of these could accidentally get blown up and destroyed. So if we come to link, you'll see that the link is set, it's got the correct parameters, the IDs are all there, the scale's there, everything, which is pretty awesome. Now I want to show you another neat trick. Let's go and import another one using the insert, and this one is that same propeller, and it's just a save as. It's the exact same model, the exact same parameters, the exact same IDs, except I changed the attachment. Now this is just to demonstrate that if you bring something in that already has say, attachment set up to whatever its parent was in a different model, when you drop it in, it is already going to be attached to whatever you make it a child of. So you'll see here in transform, it remembered that it was attached by the component of the parent. That's fine. But notice that it still has its diameter link to its own rake. Now these were copies of each other. So the IDs were identical and we imported two of them. So technically, one of them should have conflicted and it should have blown the other one up, but it didn't. OpenVSP detected that there was a parameter conflict and made new IDs for this propeller so that that link remained. And in fact, if we come to model and look at our link window, we now have two of these that are set up just fine. And just to prove it to you a little bit more, these are the two OpenVSP3 files opened up in a text editor where when we click back and forth between the two, these IDs that are defined in the link manager are exactly the same. So OpenVSP figured this stuff out for you and brought it in without destroying the parameter links. So down the road, when you start setting up your models to have links, advanced links, complex behaviors, and you want to drop that into something else, that information should be maintained. And that is a very powerful tool.